Uh, my previous book, Cutting for Stone, was set in Africa. It had a lot to do with women and fistula, so I prayed Oprah would pick that book. I lit candles. Oh, no! And so when No, it, you yeah, didn't tell me I that. I did. Yeah, I didn't you tell you You lit candles. I'm telling you now, I, I'm a big lighter of candles. If anybody calls me to say something serious is going on, yeah. I, I'm not being facetious. I say, I'm going to light, light a candle, a ca- light a candle for you. a picture of it. You know, I, I don't know what it means, or, but this is what I do. This is my way of participating with them in the worry that this news has triggered. But I lit a candle, hoping that Oprah would pick my book. Oh, my. And, uh, you know, it didn't happen, which is, the odds are it doesn't happen, but I had hoped for it. And so when it happened with this book, and we finished our call, I got to my knees. Mm. Because it was a reminder that, you know, God's time is not my time. No. Or our time. So that candle worked, is what I'm trying to say. <laughs> <laughs> that candle did not go out. That candle never went out. That's so incredible you do that. I do that too. Yeah, um, but it's a, it's a meaningful thing it's to do. It's a meaningful do, thing. It? Yeah. yeah. I mean, what else can you do? You're far away, you get this news, mm-hmm. you know. 